All right, Booker, we're out here, we're in the line area, and I see all of these weeds, man. Mm -hmm. So why do we have these weeds out here? Dr. Cooper, a lot of times we don't have weeds in our soil because sometimes the soil that we have, be okay. compact soil, can cause weeds to grow. And also, if, if, you, if your neighbor has weeds and you're cutting the grass and everything, weeds can get into your yard by the seed blowing. And right. also, uh, water, rain, and water seed down. And a lot of times we let our grass we could see go to weeds, go to seed, and it blow by wind and get in the lung. Right. But we can't manage those weeds, though. We okay. can't manage those weeds. And the one thing we manage the weed by putting a pre mirror down early in the, in the fall of the year or the earliest part of the spring, okay. control a lot of weeds in there. Okay. And also with a thick, healthy turf, right. you know, get a thick, healthy turf, I move a lot of old weeds out of there. Right, because weeds are looking for space. Looking for space and everything. Right. And, they, and, and weed can grow anywhere. Yes, they you can. You know, they can grow any kind of, any kind of soil. You got to try to maintain that soil and get the, try to keep the weeds out of there. Okay. You know, we can destroy a beautiful lawn, you know that, you they know can. how it in there how it look. But control no weed and get you on a good spray schedule. You know, you don't spray you the broadly weed killer sometimes on there, but that pre emergent you put down. But getting those weeds under control is the most important thing. Okay. Then you can you can kinda of manage those weeds a bit. Okay. Managing the most important thing because you probably gonna have some weed. And you might have a few. A few right. weeks. Right. Yeah, right. And, and then a lot of times you can pull those weeds out of there. And when you pull those weeds out of there on a, like a March day or something, right. a lot of times you get all that you get all that tap root. And that reach comes and just go away. Okay. You know, and it, it takes some time now. <laughs> you know, you and it's gonna be some work. <laughs> no work doubt about that. They trying to pull them out of there. Okay. Well, let me let me ask you this. So I, right now I see moss. Moss. Why yeah. do we have the moss here? See moss. Moss like shade. They like acid soil. Sometimes they go in that let's say acid compact soil. Okay. And a lot of times you have moss where water kind of stand. Right. You know, you got an area that water kind of stand in your, in your landscape. You might gonna have some moss there. Okay. You know, a lot of people know. You got to try to get rid of the problem for for moth to go away. Right. You know, it might you got a lot of shade, you might need to limit trees up some to get, get rid of the moth. If you got compact stuff with the water stand, you need to make sure you get the water to drain better. So there's a lot of things you can do to get rid of moth, but if not, I have seen some folk let moth just grow and take over. And it looks nice. And it looks real nice, yeah. you know. Because you might not try to fight with it. Right, you, you know, don't have to cut it. You don't have to cut it, no, right. and just I, keep the leaves off of keep it. Keep the leaves off mm -hmm. of it. Cause I done seen what later water her moss. Uh -huh. She wanted to stay there because it looked real good. But if you want to control it, got a little small area, you probably can control that some by aerating, okay. getting the compact soil good. Somebody might add just a little sand across the top of it and let, let it let it drain for them to drain better. So okay. a lot of things you can do to control that moss on a small area. But you got a lot of trees around there and folks love the tree. Oh, they yeah. don't want to go out and cut the trees down and you know, try to get rid of you know, just to get rid of the moss and everything. Right. And it's what they don't need to do in there. But with, in, in, in the clover you have in there. Yeah, we got white clover white here clover as well. And white clover, of course, is a legume. legume. So it's an indicator of your soil fertility. fertility you have yeah. bad soil fertility. Bad soil fertility. Mm -hmm. And I got, I got a little probe here. Right. You can also do a soil test and then just see what it into your soil. That's right. Because you don't want to go out there and just start just adding fertilizer, lime to it, and you might not need that. But do do your soil test where the moss is located. You might want to get it from four or five different places in, the, in that area okay. and, and get it tested and just see what you have in there. And so that's the thing you do to control that moss and also they'll help control the weed and also it, it make it look good too. But I, to me, I kind of like the little moss. <laughs> hey, it actually looks pretty good. Now. That's the color to it. And, and something else I see down here too, Booker, is nut sedge. And yeah. you know how tough nut sedge is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's considered to be the world's worst weed. Oh, because, man. You know, it can actually tolerate dry soils as well as moist soils. So okay. that's why it's considered to be a tough, tough you weed. In location, in the grow place. Right. Yeah. Then Those it, underground it, uh, tubular, tubers. Move, move right. around so you pull it, you might see some waves. Right, right. It's hard to control in there. Another thing we see this out here now, they just had the yard spray. Okay. No, we know we get. And I wonder what they were spraying it for. What do you think they were spraying it for? Probably broadleaf weed killer. Spraying a broadleaf. Okay. And sometimes they might have mixed together broadleaf weed killer with a with a pre emerge. Okay. And they're trying to get some of your summer weeds from germinating to coming in there. But people always call and say, why are they lung green? Right. <laughs> they just had a lung circle out there and spray they lung. They lung begin to turn green, but that could be that's that's like a an indicator. Okay. A okay. dye. They can tell where they've been. They don't overlap a lot. Okay. That's why you see all those uh, color in there. But a lot of them they put a broadly weed down, and also they might put a uh, some kind of pre mirror mix. Okay. In, in there. Now, you have just a few weeks in your lawn. Just did not a whole lot of weeds in there in different locations. Right. And your Bermuda grass is still completely dormant. 
you know, you can you have like spots very around there. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, okay. And, and, and just, but you just have to make sure, make sure that it's, it's dormant. It's right? coming down. Okay. You might you might want to just go back there down there and look into it. Okay. Make sure it's not brown, green at the root system coming okay. out. Okay. But you can spot it around there and get rid of a lot of weeds in there. Okay. And a lot of things that we're seeing now, you might be seeing hen big uh, poana. Sometimes yeah. you might begin Those to come winter up. Winter annual weeds. Winter begin yeah. to show up, but we, they gonna die. Okay. They don't want to get real hot and everything. They'll die, but they don't come back again next year. Yeah, especially <laughs> if they're going to see you already. Sea, you know, right, right. Come back again next year. But managing that tree in that really good thick tree, cutting your grass at the right height. Uh, makes a difference. Do that. You want to keep that grass, but moody grass, probably about two and a half inches tall. Zoysia grass about the same length, two and a half inches tall in, in that area. And and then you fast you make just a little taller, especially during the summertime. Okay. Because it's not doing a whole lot of growing during the summertime, but you want to keep it tall, but take those root system. Right. Because uh, it's it get hot and uh, and you want to do that. But keep that match that tree. Keep that grass like in the last time we talked about having that sharp mow blade. Right. Cutting your grass in different direction. All those things have control weeds problem, getting that good thick tree. Okay. And All these are cultural practices. Cultural practice, yeah. Right. You know, so our last resort. It to spray. That's right. That's and right. spray in the chemical there. That's right. But we don't want to do a lot of chemical and cause that can cause problems with a lot of more things. Right. And a lot of things you want to do again is uh, getting that soil test, like I said, getting that soil test. And then when you do spray chemical, read the label. Right. Then Always. We read, we read the label. And you know, don't go more than they say they're going to do and then try to do what they say and don't go less. Okay. Do the right amount and cover the area they want to say cover. Okay. Let me, let me ask you this, because okay. we get this question a lot at the office. Is it tougher to control weeds and fescue lawns? Mm. A lot of times you, you could be, because it might, not, it might be really thick grass, yeah. like with moody or Georgia grass, you might have a little more weeds getting there sometime in there. Okay. Because you'll see it more cause in there, because fish will grow all year long, not, right. especially in the winter time, you might have just a little more grass in there too. And a lot of times you might not be able to spray on fescue lawn that yeah, you can spray on, that you can spray on moody and Georgia grass because of that, so okay. and, and so you can do that. Those are some things you might want to look at in there. But moss and weed problem going to be a problem. As your neighbor have weeds probably you know, <laughs> you might go have some in there. And right, they're going to blow in, blow like in. you said, about wind or rain and, rain or something and like that. And like you said, you have a lawn sir that could be bringing me in from another lawn right. on, your, on your mower blade and everything. So And I, I'm glad you mentioned that. If you're using a lawn service, make sure those guys blow off they uh, their lawn uh, mowers right. because they might have weed seeds mm -hmm. on you know, that more blade on the wheels on them. So oh, they need yeah. to blow off that equipment before they go to the next yard. Because they might take weeds that are in your yard, <laughs> cut my grass, and they might be in my yard. They, they, so you we want to make sure that they clean it off the equipment. A lot of times they, they could be on a, on a schedule. You know, they, they schedule to cut your grass and have a little rain, and your grass still kind of wet. Right. And they ride across that cutting, and they could, they could add a little compact to your soil, too. Okay. You, okay. You, you want, you know, just be very careful with that. Right, because some of your weeds are actually will indicate if your soils are compact. Compact income in there, right. so yeah, there's a lot of things there. But manage those weeds, get them under control, you can, you, can, you, can, you can take care of them. Yeah. Do you have weeds in your yard? No, I don't have no weeds in my yard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have no weeds in my yard. Well, I do have weeds, I might have one or two. What I do when it real moisten, I go there and put it up. Okay. Yeah, put it up and then put it in a little bag and then put it in, get it in, the, in the garbage thing there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but I have very few weeds. But no weeds don't be that though. No weeds, you don't yeah. get weeds, no, you might. Get the tree or spray it, but you don't have weeds sometimes. Well, you don't have weeds because tell me how many times you cut the yard again. It's, what, twice a week? Thank you, man. Twice a week. <laughs> well, all right, Booker, we appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you.